Well, between Tomley Park and Mud Island, tens of millions of dollars have been spent redoing Memphis's riverfront. Some of those millions of dollars you may have noticed, some you may have not. Zaria Oates spoke with the Memphis River Park's partnership president about those renovations taking place and the upcoming projects that are planned. Nine and a half from the city is all about just it's the very, I always say it's the unsexy part. You know, it's like the escalators, the elevators, the lighting, uh, all of the roof tiles, you know, like not fun to talk about, but has to be redone if you're going to get tenants over there. That's nine and a half million dollars approved by Memphis City Council to transform Mud Island into a social island. Future projects are being planned, but awaiting a study to lay out general concepts for the island. We are in the midst of doing a study uh, with HRNA to look at a multiple, uh, multiple scenarios for the future of Mud Island. Um, and each of those scenarios will kind of lay out a general concept, say what the public benefit would be, what money would be required, where that money would come from. And that will give all of Memphis a better opportunity to, to evaluate any idea for Mud Island. With new initiatives coming into the area in the form of accessibility and elevator and escalator installations, investors are starting to look into the area to build new projects. This idea that's come forward today, the aerial adventure, very exciting. So it's the kind of idea we love to see and we uh, look forward to evaluating that concept along with others in the context of the new scenarios that we're that should emerge from the study underway in about 60 days. A Chicago, Illinois investor, Jeremy Bacon, has taken steps to put in one of his businesses, the Forge Adventure Park, which would consist of zip lines, climbing towers and ropes courses. So what we've proposed building is a what will be the region's first largest and most exciting and extensive uh, zip lining system. So imagine a zip line tour that takes you over a quarter of a mile at speeds that you can only really achieve in a car um, over the harbor into the centerpiece of Mud Island. The initiative has not yet been approved by the city, but could be on the table for talks on revitalizing the area. In Mud Island, I'm Zaria Oates.